Welcome to Runs on Redix interview series. I'm Christoph from RDX Works here today with Andrew from Shardspace. Welcome, Andrew. Hey, Christoph. Thanks for having me. Really awesome that you had time today. I heard you got some amazing stuff coming our way. Um, maybe you'll run us through what you're going to show tonight. Yeah, certainly. Uh, so yeah, I'd just like to, I guess, give a quick demo of sort of the core portfolio management features of Shardspace. Um, so these are the kind of features you, you, you know, to help manage your portfolio, move your assets around, send, swap, stake, et cetera. Uh, and hopefully, so yeah, demonstrate some of the, the, the unique, what we think are unique UI features uh, for the Web3 industry. So, yeah. Awesome. Really exciting. So let's dive right in. I would say um, I get started. So I'm here on your website, shardspace.app. Mm -hmm. I'm probably clicking launch. Yeah. yeah, launch. That's a good place to start. So yeah. then I'm going to connect my Redix wallet. So login request. And <clears throat> I have two accounts connected already. It's my Redix yep. work account and my wallet account. Excellent. Yeah, so you're defaulted there to the all accounts tab, which will uh, panel, which is is basically uh, the consolidation of the two accounts. So it it adds up the you know all the value of your tokens, uh, shows all your NFTs on the collection tab, uh, LSUs, LP tokens. So that so if you're on all accounts, that will display mm -hmm. everything in across uh, all very accounts. Convenient. But then you, yeah, yeah, and then you can um, click on the individual account panel. So mm -hmm. Radix work, yeah. And that shows you the specific assets in that account. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, so you can see all your tokens there. And again, if you click onto the collections, LSUs, mm -hmm. LP tokens. No collections. They're in it the will... other account. Yeah. My LSU tokens. Yeah. I'm staked to your validator yeah. conveniently. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, so once you're, the all accounts tab or panel is, is a bit locked down because it, it's, uh, it, it's saying it's showing you all accounts, but once you're in the, the individual uh, cards yep. or, or accounts, you get a lot more sort of functionality and features. Mm -hmm. So what you could probably see is next to the tokens, uh, the left side of the tokens in, in the table below, you've got a little, what's called drag and drop yep. icon. I can drag to the right um, side here. Yep. Yep. So if you, if you drag, so back to the, the ticker or the, the icon, um, at the very, at uh, the yes. very left. So yep. yeah, there's a little drag. So you can see there, the token now starts to highlight and you can uh, drag it that into any of the other accounts. Mm, in your, okay, let me try your, it quickly. Portfolio. So I'm gonna send a couple of XRD over here. Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, I'm gonna send some 20. So what does it mean now? Quick move and add to cart. Yeah, so quick move is just basically right execute the transaction or the transfer now. Mm -hmm. um, you can also obviously include a, a message here if you like. Uh, but the, the add to card is say if you've got to do, you want to do a bit of housekeeping on your account and you want to do multiple token moves, you want to do lots of staking, you want to, um, you know, um, unstaking, uh, you want to sort of do some, some market, some trading, etc. You can add multiple different types of transactions to the car. Uh, so really if you cool. click on the add to car. Um, can I do that from the second account to the Radix work account? Because I'm you, gonna click the Yeah, you can yes, yeah. whichever way you prefer. Yeah, let's then yeah. quickly do this. So I'm gonna put this one here. Um say max because I want to clean up this account. Say add to cart, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's it. Um I'm gonna do the same for the Radix, but I'm not gonna do all of them. So uh, balance five, I'm just going to do two because I want some in there. Mm, mm -hmm. My All my OTs. My USDC. Add to cart. Max. Yes. And my GAB. So um, can I also uh, do the same with uh, NFTs? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, really? So, if, yeah, okay. if you click on that. You got your the two NFTs yeah. in that, and then again, click on the show collection. Mm -hmm. So, if you had multiple, imagine if you had multiple NFTs yeah. of a in a particular collection, they would show here. Then, yeah, that would mm -hmm. show you all the yeah, exactly. But yeah, you can do the same oh, thing there. That is so convenient, honestly, really amazing. So, give me a second, mm -hmm. and then uh, hide collection. That will that will then um, get yes. you, yeah show you both. And the same yeah. with Dan. Yes. Add to cart. Awesome. So mm -hmm. 
and now I'm, I think I'm all, so you could, or, or can I do something yeah, else as well? You maybe you want to do some staking? Or yes, staking. sure. Let's, yeah. Give me a second. Um, I can stake one XRD. <laughs> yeah. If you stake to the Avon staking node there, if you click on the promo panel there, you could do some mm -hmm. staking. Give me a second. Yeah, here. Um, so I'm going to select. Um, so give me a second. Let's do Avon. Yes. I'm going to do one XRD and also add this to the card. Correct? Mm-hmm. Awesome. So now we have eight operations, all being able to do at once. Yep, correct. Let's try that. Well, that goes really, really fast. So I'm scrolling quickly through the transaction manifest, quite a long one because I'm doing so many things at once. All right, this, this whole thing only cost me 1.6 XRD. Mm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Slide to sign. I think the, 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 key, the key thing there is that the the staking transaction manifest hasn't been given the sort of the pretty UI mm -hmm. yet. So uh, a lot of what you're seeing there is because of the staking. If that, I, I believe once that gets updated, you'll have, you know, the, the pretty UI. So, okay. And now we can see here, all the tokens are gone and they are now all in the other. Yes. My gap is here. Awesome. Everything is here. Mm -hmm. The NFTs, vacuum, pyro, everything is here. So perfect. Yeah. So yeah. So that gives you um, sort of the key, the key functionality. Also, you, you, if you go back to the accounts, um, yes, the accounts. Yeah, tab. Uh, now uh, you can go to LSU's. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So and then so yeah, go into the Radix Work account because I think yep. you've got two LSU's yep. in there. Now. Some, uh, there's a number of other there's a number of other DApps or services that we've connected to as well. So the sort of standard features you can unstake, um, you know, directly from here. You can do an instant unstake as well. So this is currently using the Caviar. Um, uh, it, it's it's basically constructing a a, a transaction using a, the Caviar service. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can basically the, the service that they provide you can do directly from uh, shard space as yeah, well. Yeah, let me so let me try okay. this. For... Amazing. Okay, instant. Yes, and I see there is two yeah. accounts. Um, the one I recognize is mine, and the second one is called account. Yeah, so that's the shard space um, uh, fee yeah. account. So we take a, a small minimal f uh, nominal fee for the for the convenience yeah, there. That makes okay. sense. I'm gonna slide to sign. Uh, yes, worked really awesome. Very, very cool. And the other option there you've got is a lend on WEF. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a basically a three-step process. So it takes your LSUs mm -hmm. from your account. It then goes out to uh, Caviar. Yeah. Um, it deposits those uh, LSUs into the Caviar's LSU LP yep. pool. The LSU LP tokens you get back from Caviar is then sent to WEFT where you can then lend them to WEFT. So we're kind of, you know, doing three dApps, composing three dApps in one go. We've got shard space, caviar, and West, amazing. So, but in, I can I can do all of it so. with one click here. You do it all with one okay. click, correct? Let's try yep. it. So ah, I see, yeah, caviar, weft. Oh wow, all of these things are happening at once. Okay, let's give it a try. Yep. Slide to side. Amazing. Amazing. There so. we go. And now can I see okay. it? Where, where can I see it? Uh, so the, you'd, you'd have to, um, ah, here. so there's two things. So yeah, you can see the tokens mm -hmm. in there, uh, to see your actual sort of the values, etc. It's best to go directly to mm -hmm. weft.finance at the moment, but yeah, you've got, actually, you can see your position yep. there as well. For me, it's just important to see, um, if I got anything in return, really awesome. So, um, here's my yeah, proof yeah. that I did this operation. Really awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that, yeah, so it gives you sort of the, the mm -hmm. cap man the, the token management where the demo we did there with uh, the instant yeah. stake and the weft integration is is some of the features we hope to build out as more and more DApps become available. Mm -hmm. 
uh, we'll be able to integrate more and more sort of features and, and uh, multiple steps in, in one transaction. I've discovered one um, thing before. So on, on the NFT collections, um, you also, uh, mm -hmm. you, you can click on the NFT actually. So um, I noticed that I can yeah, see so all, all my features. Yes, yeah. yeah. So this is something we just recently added yeah. as well. So um, it's it's a work in progress here, mm -hmm. but this is, gives you a, the first sort of uh, sort of iteration of, of the feature. It gives you a view of the NFT or the data yep. where the data was created, the the, the creator uh, and all the traits there, mm -hmm. and then how many you've, you know, the percentage of people that own um, have that trait. So so now I can at least uh, confirm NFTs. that my pyro is not rare at all. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Very cool. Yeah. That is really, really everything um, in one place. Super helpful, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and then there's obviously there's there's other features like the trade, uh, the trade feature. Mm, so yeah, you, know, you want to do like a, a token swap. Yeah. Um, let's go. We've got the limit order there with mm -hmm. with Alfred X. Yep. Um, and then the market order yep. or AMM type order is, is integration with. Uh, Astral Ascent. Mm -hmm. So we've integrated with the the, uh, the, the Astral Ascent provide the aggregation service. Yep. Um, so you can sort of do the traditional swap f uh, functionality of any token. Yeah. So I, basically, I can just uh, click on one of the assets here, and it's gonna. So click, yeah. Either search for a, a token, or, or just click on one that you'd yep. like to buy. Yeah. If you'd like to buy some flips, yep. so then yeah. Never hurts. Okay. So let's see. Let's buy some yep. twenty five XD. Oh, worth of loop. Let's try it. Yeah, everything super smooth, instant. It goes through Astro Planet, really awesome. Astro Planet, yeah, Radix Planet, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. so. Slide design. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, flawless, <laughs> really perfect, <laughs> amazing. Okay. Uh, some other features we won't yep. uh, we won't go through, but in, in detail. But we've got the developer page as yep. well. Uh, so we've got the token creator. Mm -hmm. you've, got, you've got a simple token creator there, which just creates a simple asset. Yep. Okay. And then you've got the advanced is a lot more sort of uh, feature rich. So mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. first create a badge. Yep. And then you can create a um, yeah. So that's sort of the badge, which gives you the the admin type. Ah, so roles or with the badge, I can afterwards um, change the metadata of the token, or how does that work? Correct. Yeah. So yeah. So if you if you don't have a badge already, mm -hmm. uh, or if you have a badge already, you can skip that part. Yep. But if you don't have a badge, it's best to create a badge, mm -hmm. and then you you create the you know you put all the metadata, the the website, the URL, and supply, yeah. etc. Yeah. Um, and then if you scroll down, yeah, then you've got all the permissions that you set. Now you can either uh, set that to everyone, no one, or to uh, the badge owner, which would be, in your case, the badge that you created mm -hmm. previously. So if you wanted to make it mintable, yep. then you can say only the only the badge owner yep. can mint the token. Um, and there's say there's a, there's quite a few you know, sort of different options there to, to, to play around with. Yeah. Um, and then once you've created yep. that token, say if you made it mintable, mm -hmm. you go to the token manager, uh, you select the token that you've created, and this will tell you that red X would go to a yes, it can be minted, yep. uh, and then you can mint or, or burn it, whichever, you know, whatever, for whichever okay. way. And then as well, if you've made the metadata updatable, you can change the ticker, the name, the website, etc. I mean, I feel like there is another video incoming where we can create some tokens <laughs> and maybe even uh, afterwards change the yeah. metadata on them. Um, yeah. Other than that, before we wrap this up, uh, do you have anything to share? What's coming up? What's what's going to be the next big feature you're going to release? Yeah, certainly. So um, we have a, a, a very basic ecosystem mm -hmm. page at the moment, but what we're working on, so the core next feature update is the ecosystem yep. page where we're going to add a lot more uh, information about the dApps and services, other dApps and services on the network. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, so you'll see this ecosystem page, so it's, it's just very basic mm -hmm. at the moment. It's like a news feed, uh, but we'll have a lot more sort of, yeah, sort of information about all the other dApps and services and how you can integrate and, and uh, 
um, you know, sort of participate in, in, the, in the services that they provide. So Really exciting. So important. one last thing, though, I just saw the, the address book. Um, maybe you want to share a little bit about the address book? Yeah, so the address book is, is simply you can either, you know, say friends, family uh, or some accounts that maybe you think is a, um, uh, you know, you have got a, uh, a popular account yeah. that you follow, like a trader or a collector. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you go to the Explorer, Explorer, I can just... um, so can't close, yeah, so Cloud's close that, but go to the Explorer mm -hmm. tab and then the accounts. Um, yes, I have the accounts thing yep. at the top. So, yeah, you could say follow the account that you think is great, yep. or so maybe it's a, you know, a family account. Um, then you can then search for those, much like the, the dashboard Explorer. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then you can see an accounts on, on the network. Amazing. So I, I followed in the past uh, one of these accounts, which looked super interesting because it's a really an NFT enthusiast, um, has a huge collection of different NFTs. It's really awesome also to see here um, what everything, how, how easily it can be shown. Um, amazing. So all yep. the stake. Yep. Amazing. Really, really cool. So I would say thanks for coming in. I'm Christoph from RDX Works here today with Andrew from Shardspace. Really amazing stuff going um, on your website. Um, really excited for the stuff to come on the ecosystem page. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Christoph. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you.